What's going on fellas? It's your boy, Ross Cynical is here, back at you with another video. That's right, my originality is dying just as much as my YouTube channel is. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, if if you could if you could subscribe right now, that that'd be great. Thanks, and uh, and if we could get uh you know four likes on this video, guys, I will drink I'll drink a bleach for every single sing every single like gone. So you're probably sitting there right now thinking either two things. First of all, that this is a clickbait video designed to trap you into clicking on this video. That I didn't actually fight an eight year old, which. If that's the case, I'll, I'll fucking knock your little brother out if you keep chatting shit like that, I swear to god. Or, the other thing you might be thinking is that I am a horrible person, which isn't entirely wrong when I do shit like this, and I don't even have the excuse to fall back on that I'm getting paid for the views on videos like this because, as I have iterated numerous times, my channel is making absolutely no money and dying a slow and painful death. What have I become? My sweetest friend. Well, this is something that actually happened pretty recently to me. In fact, the finale of this saga happened yesterday, actually, when I came into a full fucking fledged throwdown with an eight year old in the middle of a fucking Tesco Express. Well, if you've ever heard of this little known game called Pokemon Go, then you'll probably know that one of the few functions of this game that it is barely enough to even call it a game. Like, seriously, I use it every day. But there's, there's really fucking nothing here to this game, lads. It's, it's paper toss with rip sprites from the 3DS games. So, if you have never played Pokemon Go because you're some kind of fucking reptile living under a rock. I play Pokemon Go every day. I play Pokemon Go. Their function is that there's gems scattered across the world and you can use your Pokemon to battle to take those gems back or claim them for your own team. By the way guys, all Instinct members, don't forget to smash that mother heckin' like button. So down the street from my girlfriend's house, there is one gym. There's barely anything around where I live or where she lives, but there's one gym. And after days and days of grinding in my city to catch and level Pokemon, I finally had a decent enough squad to take on this gym. Of course, the power struggle begins, you know, every fucking day, I'd walk down the street and take the gym for instinct. And within an hour or so, the gym would be back to being Team Valor's. Safe to say, got a little bit competitive, as I tend to do. It got to the point where I went out at 2am to take this gym back, so nobody would take it from me for the longest period of time. And yeah, I'm that guy. I was squatting in the grounds of a church, dropping lures to catch Pokemon at 1am some nights and cars were literally driving to my location to use the lure and parking nearby me and I had to like hide so I didn't get fucking kidnapped like Marina Joyce. So maybe a week of this happens back and forth, I'm taking a gym back, he's taking a gym back, but I noticed that it's always the same goddamn Lapras that seems to be coming back to take the gym. I noticed that the guy's username, and for the sake of this, 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 this video, for the sake of personal reasons, I'm gonna call him Ben because that is not even remotely close to his real name. Ben had a Lapras that he liked to flaunt at my gym, and I began to dislike Ben. I would take the gym back from Ben daily. I tried to figure out his schedule to find when he would come to take it so that I could take it straight back from him. The guy even had his full name as his Pokemon Go username, which led me to finding him on Facebook through a mutual friend who lived nearby where the gym was, and I sent a screenshot to this guy. <laughs> Uh, which you'll be seeing on screen now, uh, and I left a 70 CP Magikarp called Ben Sucks in its place, and I sent him the screenshot of that. I was acting pretty fucking insane, I was acting like that crazy obsessed girlfriend who cannot leave you alone, but I didn't care man, all I cared about was uh, complete and utter domination of this gym. So I sent these messages, and all was well, I continued my campaign against Ben, and he seemed to slow down slightly with the retakes of my gym. It wasn't until yesterday, when it brewed to the bubbling, nail-biting finale that would be worthy of a fucking Breaking Bad episode. I was just going down to the local Tesco Express, behind which the majority of all fights in Britain take place, and my girlfriend is friends with the girl behind the counter. They're chatting away. I'm staring at my phone at the gym that's like 20 foot away. And my girlfriend mentions that I've been in this feud with a guy for ages, alright? That I found him on Facebook, and all that kind of stuff. And it's only then 
when she mentions the guy's name, she mentions Ben's name to the cashier, that shit gets fucking real. Ben is in the shop right now. My nemesis is literally in the same building as me. Now, this isn't a big Tesco, and this isn't a big area. Everyone fucking knows everyone. Everyone is friends and knows someone in every single family. And uh, despite the fact that he didn't even open my messages on Facebook, he didn't even read my messages, he didn't even see my Magikarp, I was ready to dropkick him to the frozen food section. Although it was a pretty small shop, there was absolutely no adult men except me around that I could see. There was, however, an eight-year-old boy with his mother. I'd been feuding with a fucking eight-year-old boy, and now he was within meters of me. And I guess you're probably wondering what exactly I did. Maybe I pulled out my ancestor's katana blade, and Ben pulled out a pistol. You have a gun, do you? I'll put down my weapon. I'll put down my weapon. I will put down my weapon! Ha! I got another fucking sword, you fucking bitch! Well, actually, I just got embarrassed and I left the shop quietly. And basically, I can never go back there ever again, so... <clears throat> I'm now taking applications for my new Tesco. If any sexy single Tesco's out there wish to get my custom, then please contact me. Well, that's a story I felt needed to be told, and I hope you enjoyed it at, you know, at my own expense. Thanks for watching, lads. Uh, I can't wait to see you all unsubscribe from me. Regardless, smash that like button and pray that I make it through another night. I'll see you tomorrow.